Hi, I'm Paul Warren. I study budget issues as well as K-12 education for PPIC. I'm going to talk to you today about California's budget picture. After years of deficits, California's budget outlook is much improved. Propositions 30 and 39 passed last November, raising personal income and sales tax rates. This increased state revenues by about $7 billion a year. Also, an improving economy is boosting revenues and moderating expenditure increases. So things are looking up. But the state's not out of the hot fiscal waters yet. Today, I'm going to talk to you about three topics. Where our revenues come from, the current budget outlook, and major budget issues that will need attention in the future. The state is a $200 billion enterprise. Nearly half is from the general fund, and the other half is from fees, bond funds, and federal funds. About half of the general fund is spent for education, 41% for K-12 education, and 10% for colleges and universities. The other half pays for all the other things state government spends money on, including health and welfare, corrections, and environmental programs. California is a high-tax state. In 2009-10, taxes for both state and local government totaled more than $6,700 per person, which made California the 11th highest in the nation in terms of per-person taxes. But because our state's also very wealthy, taxes as a percent of income drops to 15th highest in the nation. The source of the state's revenues has changed over time. In 1978-79, 69% of our revenues came from sales and income taxes, but more came from sales than from income taxes. In 2012-13, these two sources account for 84% of our revenues, and 63% come from income taxes. This is a very significant change. This increased reliance on income taxes has made revenues more volatile. One of the reasons for this volatility is that capital gains income earned by Californians has become a much more important source of income. Revenues from taxes on capital gains can rise and fall by billions of dollars each year. This volatility magnifies the impact of economic changes and greatly complicates budgeting. But the current budget outlook is brighter than it has been for years. The governor's budget for the fiscal year starting next July makes only modest cuts to balance the budget. The proposed budget also increases funding to schools, colleges, and universities for the first time in several years. As the economy improves, budget surpluses will begin to emerge. The Legislative Analyst Office sees multi-billion dollar surpluses starting in 2014-15. One way to spend the surplus is to restore program cuts that were made during the recession. Many state programs are smaller than they were in 2007-8, and the pressure to restore these cuts is significant. Budget surpluses also could help the state address a number of long-term fiscal issues. The state has an estimated $240 billion unfunded liability for retirement-related programs. This includes $181 billion in unfunded pension benefits and $62 billion for retiree health care benefits. Right now, there is no plan for addressing either of these giant debts. There is also about $45 billion in budgetary debt left over from the recession. This represents debts the state incurred during the past decade in an attempt to maintain services through two recessions. The governor's budget plans to address most, but not all, of these debts over the next four years. Revenue volatility and tax reform are also budget issues that many feel need to be addressed. One way to address volatility is to create a large savings account that will make up for lost state revenues during recessions. Another way to address volatility is to reduce the state's reliance on capital gains. This would involve reducing the state's high income tax rates, which some also believe would significantly help the state's economy. To make up for revenue losses that come from reducing tax rates, these reforms would broaden the tax base by extending the sales tax to services and eliminating income tax deductions and exclusions. You can read more about the California state budget at ppic.org. Thank you for listening.